as you can see and probably here behind me, WKU is now finishing up their new freshman village, which will be completed by fall of 2021. This is a new experience offered to freshmen that has never been done at WKU before that will hopefully save their second year retention rates. I'm here at the WKU Medical Center where they just announced that those ages 16 and over are able to get a COVID vaccination. In order to get your vaccine, all you need to do is pull out your phone, text COVID to 270-796-4400 to schedule your appointment and you'll be good to go. After over a year of construction, the WKU Commons at Helm Library is finally scheduled to open in fall of next year. This is a highly anticipated addition to WKU's campus and will create a new social atmosphere for all its students. A new addition is that Bowling Green restaurants will be able to come in and be able to serve their food to WKU students. Semester at Sea has brought together two roommates, Ivy Smurl and Grace Grice, who have traveled the world together. But their Semester at Sea journey did not begin here. So our moms went on Semester at Sea in the fall of 1987. And I don't really know <laughs> if they knew each other that well on the voyage, but mm -hmm. they started going on reunions like four months after they all got off because they missed each other so much. And since then, they've all become really close. Falling in their mother's footsteps, the roommates have been influenced to attend semester at sea since a young age. We kind of just were told we were doing it. Yeah. It wasn't really a choice. <laughs> well, mine, like, <laughs> through my entire life, my mom was always like, oh my God, I would want my kids to do it. But I don't think that she thought we would, or if it was possible at all. Ivy and Grace have already formed the connections they saw their mothers had and are already looking forward to meeting up after the voyage. The first time we met, they came, she came to snowboard in Park mm -hmm. City, which is like 20 minutes from where I live. So I have a feeling there will be lots of ski, ski yeah. trips. Semester at Sea is known for making lifelong friendships, something that these women have already gained. For News Channel 12, I'm Elizabeth Medley. As COVID-19 rounds its second year on the Hill, WKU graduates are still on the hunt for jobs despite the circumstances. Spring 2020 graduate Jared Tutt secures his now second job and describes this process more frustrating than the first. Whenever I got close to uh, uh, moving from Bowling Green, I was uh, still didn't have a job at the time, so I kind of had a sense of urgency, uh, you know, that I needed to get something done. So, I mean, that also kind of brings a little bit of motivation to help as well. Life is gradually going back to normal, including the job market. Becky Tinker, Associate Director of the WKU Career Development Center, says students may be having other mental blocks. I think that oftentimes students are listening to what their friends are saying. So their friends are saying, um, oh, I'm having difficulty, or oh, I'm, this job search process is so hard. And I think that what students need to understand is that journey is different for every single person. As students reach graduation this May, it is important to be proactive in the job search and to not let COVID-19 stop them. I think the biggest thing is to remember to remain positive, especially being someone that's coming straight out of college. You know, you're 22, 23 years old. You're, you're, your whole life's still ahead of you. Reporting for News Channel 12, I'm Elizabeth Medley. Western Kentucky University has a close connection with many study abroad programs. COVID-19, however, has disrupted these relationships and most study abroad programs have postponed during the pandemic. In a typical year, we're probably sending about 500 students um, on our study abroad and away programs. Um, so this pandemic has kind of really forced us to rethink everything we do and kind of focus on that global learning part of our name. The WKU Study Abroad and Global Learning Office has been hosting forums from other countries so students can still gain a sense of global learning even without being able to travel. Students are still very much interested in studying abroad. Even with the incoming freshmen last year, we were meeting with a lot of students. The most popular study abroad options, Semester at Sea and Harlickston College, both plan to start traveling in fall 2021 but everything is still tentative. We're hoping, uh, you know, that by spring 2022, uh, we'll be reaching some of our pre-COVID numbers. Um, so we're just really focusing a lot of attention on coming out strong. As life tends to head back to normal, hopefully traveling to sites like these are in the near future for the Hilltoppers. Reporting for News Channel 12, I'm Elizabeth Medley.